Good evening, and welcome to the Daily News Roundup with Daily Mirror Online. You're with me, Nicholas Manuel. Let's take a look at our headlines. Essential outlets in curfew-imposed areas allowed to remain open. An employee at another factory tests positive for COVID-19. The Minuangota police station reopens. A child from Minuangota tests positive for COVID-19 at Lady Ridgeway Hospital. A book fair attendee, an A-level student, and a worker at Manar Bishop's house test positive for COVID-19. An elderly woman undergoing self-quarantine dies in Monaragala. Frequent temperature checkups for vendors and laborers working at Manning Market. Lindula police recover a carcass of a dead fishing cat. The Minister of Labor calls for a report on Brandix. Army commander pins major insignias on Dinesh Chandama and Thisara Pereira. Now, diving into these stories in detail. Police spokesman DIG Ajit Rohana informed that essential outlets including pharmacies, satosa, cooperatives and supermarkets in the curfew-imposed areas are allowed to remain open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. today. The 38-year-old female employee of the next apparel factory in Katunayaka has tested positive for COVID-19. The patient is a mother of two from Rajapakshapura in Sidhua. It has not yet been revealed how she had contracted the virus and she had been admitted to the Horana Hospital. Arrangements have been made to conduct PCR tests on other employees at the factory who have maintained close contact with the patient. The Minuangoda police station, which was temporarily closed yesterday for disinfection, was reopened today. Eighty police officers were brought in from other police stations to the Minuangoda police station. The 85 police officers at the Minuangoda police stations were undergoing quarantine after being subjected to PCR tests. A child who visited the Lady Ridgeway Hospital for Children at Borella for treatment on October 7th has tested positive for COVID-19. ये दिन ये दी कोरोना दरवाजे को में मरो हलेंग वार्ता हुना ये में दरवाजा हत्ते ने दिन तमाम में मरो हल रपतिकार संधा तुरात कर लती है ने ये दरवाजे के पास पदिंचिय अपने स्वागत ता विधि है टे मिनुंग रप्पे देशी दरवाजे एडमिन प्रोहट तुरात करना अवस्था वे दी में तीनों रोग लक्षण आनुव सकेही दला ये दरुआ अभी अनेकों दरुआ के साथ कार्यमाले व्यंकर ला पतिकार क्रीमर तीने करा ये दी अभी रोहरा तुले दी गन्ना अलग सांपल परिश्रम के निमित्त दी पीसीआर आनुव ये रोग के वैरंदी ये तिबाव टा ताहुरो करके निमित्त है कि आकला बुना बाहर रोग ऐसे रहता है दरुआ रंगे ना दरुआ रहते बुने उन्हर रोगे ये तिबुने वैनात किस प्रकार का लक्षण तिबुने हैं नमूत तबे कार्मण डले या सक्या हितवा प्रदेश या तनुवत उन्हर तिबुनु तात्ते अनुवत में दरुआ में हम दया तिबे दे के ना सक्या हितरा ஏத்தாமாத் தாரக்சித்தாக்காரேட்ட கிரண்டத்தேக்கின் ஐடித்துவாட்டையைம் கடித்துக்கராம். 
තවත් දීර්ඝ කාලයක් එම නැත්නම් අට වෙනි මාස 30ට ප්‍රතිකාර ලබන දරුවෙක් මෙම රෝහලේ නතර වෙලා සිටිනවා ඒ දරුවාගේ වයස මාස 5ක් පමණ විතර වෙනවා ඒ දරුවාගේ පදිංචිය නුවර ප්‍රදේශයේ නමුත් මාස 2 හමාරක පමණ කාලයක් තිස්සේ ඒ අය කොටිකාවත ප්‍රදේශයේ තමයි නතර වෙලා ඉන්නේ ඒ දරුවාට වැඩිදුර ප්‍රතිකාර කටයුතු කිරීමේදී අපි කෙසේ වෙතත් මාස පියා සහ දරුවාගේ PCR පරීක්ෂණ ලබා ගත්තා ඒ ලබා ගත්තම ඊයේ දිනේදී අපිට වාර්තා වුණා ये दरुआगे पियाटत कोरोना वायरस आसाधने भी अति बाब बहुविलार अपने सके ही ताने मास देख हमारे राज्य का काल या तीसरे कोलम प्रदेश से पादिंचोला इस इतने निशा ओन नो एक नो एक के कार्यों तो करके नहीं मिलता था उन इंडिया वाले आमने बाला प्रोत्सव सिटिया ये कार्यों तो वाले हर महारे आमे दी मंगिताने තත් මවටත් මේ රෝගය ඇති බවට සනාත වෙන්නේ නැහැ. පියාට පමණයි තියෙන්නේ. නමුත් පියා වරින් වර රෝහලට පැමිණලා තියෙනවා මේ දරුවා බැලීමට. ඒ අවස්ථාවේදී පරිමණ්ඩලය සමග දීර්ඝ ගැටීමක් සිදු වෙලා නැහැ. කෙසේ වෙතත් එම වාට්ටුවේ කාර්යමණ්ඩල සියල්ලු දෙනා අපි PCR පරීක්ෂණයට යොමු කරනවා. නමුත් ලොකු අවදානමක් තියෙන බවක් අපිට මේ වෙන විට පේන්නේ නැහැ. අදහස් වෙන විට මේ ප්‍රතිඵල අපිට ලබා ගැනීමට හැකියාව ලැබෙයි. A 36-year-old man from Chilao has tested positive for COVID-19 after he had visited the Colombo International Book Fair and the Colombo Central bus stand on September 23rd and had also gone to Nura Elia on September 30th. A 17-year-old student from Adipala, Arachikatia, who is to sit for the advanced level examinations, also tested positive for COVID-19. The student had attended a tuition class in Gampaha during the weekend. At least 57 people, including Menar Bishop Fidelis Lionel Emmanuel, were placed under self-quarantine after a worker at the Menar Bishop's house tested positive for COVID-19. A 70-year-old woman was undergoing self-quarantine at home in Dambagala in Monaragala has died after being admitted to the Monaragala General Hospital due to a severe asthma attack. The woman and her family members were directed to undergo self-quarantine after the daughter of the deceased woman had traveled in a bus in which an employee of the Minuango to Brandix factory who was tested positive for COVID-19, had also traveled. A PCR test is to be carried out on the deceased woman, whose body has been sealed and kept at the hospital until test results arrive. Health checkups and awareness programs have been undertaken for vendors and laborers working at Manning Market in Colombo under the supervision of healthcare officials, police, and Manning's Market Traders Association. The Manning's Market Traders Association informed that anyone with a body temperature above 37 degrees Celsius are not allowed to enter the market area while it is compulsory for all vendors to wear masks. Lindala police reported that the carcass of a dead fishing cat had been recovered today. This animal had died due to a collision against a vehicle close to some estate line rooms near the Lodgy Tea Factory in Lindala on the Hatton Nurelia Road. According to the police, this animal, which had come for hunting pets in line rooms, may have died while crossing the road. The police have made arrangements to hand over the carcass of the fishing cat to the officers of the Wildlife Office in Norelia. Minister of Labor Nimal Siripala de Silva has ordered the Commissioner of Labor to immediately submit a report regarding allegations leveled by several trade unions against Brandix management that the company had allegedly failed to follow safety and health protocols. Minister De Silva stated that he informed the trade unions to file a written complaint for the ministry to consider further action. He added that the management of such factories are bound to follow the relevant safety and health protocols gazetted by the Quarantine and Prevention of Diseases Ordinance. Brandix vyapari seve karanna da sevaka sevaka adinta eveni tattwe kata unapai mata chidu ye ema ayatan. Chief of Defense Staff and Army Commander Lieutenant General Shavendra Silva today pinned major rank insignias on the Sri Lankan cricketers Dinesh Chandimal and Thisara Pereira at the Army headquarters. Major Thisara Pereira of the Gajaba Regiment and Major Dinesh Chandimal of Sri Lanka Army Ordnance Corps were enlisted to the Sri Lankan Army to the volunteer force. Congratulations. All the very best. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, congratulations. Uh, because we want to... Uh, Ready, sir. 